All right, well, I went ahead and ordered the new chain, new rear sprocket, new front sprocket, and I'm gonna have a crack and see how we go with this. So obviously never done, well not obviously, I've never done a chain, I've never done a sprocket front or rear. I've got the book and I did, I watched a video, but it wasn't for a DR650, it was for another bike, a British guy, but it seemed really cool. He was very clear on how to break the chain and then just kind of taking your time, putting the new chain on and putting it back together. But again, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how long the job is supposed to take. It'll take me, I guess, as long as it takes, but I'm going to have a crack. I think it's going to be a fun little experience. We'll see how it goes. I think the, probably the worst thing that can happen is maybe I stuff up putting the new chain on. So I'll try to take my time with that. Otherwise, yeah, we'll have a crack and see how I go. I'm not going to do the tire yet. I decided, because I haven't really ridden, just because I've had a couple injuries. So I haven't really ridden for a couple weeks. So I still have some tread left on that tire. So I'll, I'll do the new sprockets in the chain and then I'll, I've still got to burn through a couple tanks of, of petrol before I do the tire. But anyway, I'll get all this other stuff set up and then I'll do the tire when, when I'm ready to do the tire. Anyway, we'll see, we'll see how we go. All right, let's do it. All right, well, <clears throat> day two on the chain. So I think I got this set up, but I realized a couple things. One is I didn't, it started raining and it got a bit late last night, so I didn't finish. I put the um, thread locker on here, and then of course I didn't tor torque it down. So I guess that means once I actually adjust the chain and everything, get the chain right, set the chain, I think I have to pull this back off reapply the thread locker and anyway reset it um and yeah i was thinking about again whether or not i want to do the tire now and i'm like well there's probably i mean there is the, the upside is if i do it in a couple weeks i get to again practice taking the wheel off and adjusting the chain and all that which i think is fine it's good for experience but yeah the thing i'm really stressed about is this chain so I'm just really taking my time trying to get the chain. Oh, and the other thing is the chain guard. This chain roller, I had the chain roller set wrong. And I didn't have enough space in here. So I actually, I originally had the chain roller set on the outside. And then I moved it to the inside and then put the spacer in between here. And it looks like it's set better now. So I'm hoping that that's okay. But, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I think especially with the chain, I'm like, I don't want to obviously screw the chain and then have to go spend another $200 on a chain or 170 bucks or whatever it was. 
So I'm worried about how much like slack and stuff I put in there when I take the link out. Anyway, whatever. Day two, here we go. That's it, I'm gonna take it for a quick ride and see if I got it, but new sprocket. So that's a 43 tooth sprocket, new chain. It's a two, I don't know, whatever chain I showed in the beginning. Um, the new front sprocket, that's a 15 tooth front sprocket. So here's the old ones here, old chain. And then that chain actually came with like 120 links. I think the old chain was like 112. And I cut off one, two, three, four, five links. Anyway, so I'm just gonna take it for a quick ride and just see if it works. Oh, here's the old chain guide. So not bad for my very first time. I think, well, I haven't started it yet. So uh, I don't know, we'll find out in a second. I think the coolest thing about this experience is the confidence builder. You know, like when you start doing more stuff, and I, obviously anybody that works on bikes knows that this is probably not hard, right? I don't know. Maybe it's a 30 minute job for an experienced person. So it took me about two hours today and probably two and a half or three hours yesterday. And again, it's like, look at something, you know, look at the parts, look at the book, check a YouTube video, look at the parts again, just, you know, the whole thing, just kind of back and forth, back and forth, especially with the chain. Like I would, you know, when I was putting the new chain on, the new link on, I'd put the press on there, adjust it, take it off, adjust it, take it off, adjust it, take it off, over and over and over again. And then putting the micro, the micrometer on there to check the spacing with the links. And so just stuff like that, you know, when you're new, you have to take a lot more time, but it's been actually really cool. And yeah, it's, it's a cool confidence builder as well. So anyway, I think that's good to go. I think everything's pretty much now set on the bike. I will, like I said, I'm gonna put a couple tanks through the uh, the bike just to run that tire down a bit more. So I don't know, maybe that's another, I don't know, 600 Ks or something. And and then I'll put the new tire on. Otherwise, I think that's pretty cool. So yeah, I think it was Peter. Man, thank you, very, I, think, oh, I think it was. Thank you very much for the comments. Thanks for the, the call out to look at doing the sprockets. And um, yeah, man, that's so cool. I'm glad I did. And I one other thing I noticed about the sprockets too, I have the 15, tooth on the front and in, in one of the forums I was reading how guys are talking about if you're going to get into some snotty stuff it's a 10 minute job to throw a 14 tooth on and I can see that now I can see that if you're going to ride somewhere maybe you're riding a couple hours you have the you have the 15 tooth on and then depending upon what you're running on the rear and again I don't even know what I like or what is going to suit my riding style but I can see how you ride somewhere and then yeah, you pull off, you spend 10 minutes or 15 minutes, you just swap out the front sprocket and then you hit the dirt. I can, that makes total sense to me. So I think if I was gonna do a big trip and there was gonna be a ton of dirt and stuff like that, I can actually probably see throwing a 14 tooth sprocket in there. Uh, there's no reason probably why I wouldn't do that. But that's pretty cool. And that's I think another good experience and another good thing about doing this stuff myself. And just hearing from you guys with the comments and stuff that these are you know things to explore and experiment with anyway so yeah cool experience i'm glad i got to do it and i'll try this out i'll see how it actually performs out in the dirt and also on the road so hopefully i can get out for a ride maybe tomorrow actually i can get out for a ride and um, there's two other spots i want to show you guys in canberra in terms of camping one is mount clear so headed towards kuma and then another one is headed out towards we jasper there's a camp a couple camp spots out there which i want to kind of close that loop on the Canberra and surrounds sort of camping area. So I'll, maybe tomorrow I can hit those spots and then show you guys that. But otherwise that's it for me. Uh, hopefully in the next couple weeks there's a decent trip, decent sized trip coming up. Otherwise, thanks again guys for sharing the comments and the feedback. Otherwise I definitely would not have thought to do the chain and the sprockets and everything. So yeah, awesome. Cool, so yeah, until next time guys, get hard, stay hard, and we'll see you guys out on the trails. All right, take it easy.